Okay, uh, let's do this one. How long do I date someone if he hasn't asked me to marry him? Well, how long did God tell you to date him for? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, really, and I don't mean to make light of that. Sure. Um, you know, I think that, you know, spending time together, getting to know someone is good. Um, but if you went into the relationship thinking that you were going to be married someday, um, number one, is that something that God said was going to happen? Right? And number two, if he did... Uh, then you're going to have to trust the man to be the one to ask you that then. And I, I you know and I can't tell, like, yeah, have you guys been discussing you, it? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you've been discussing, right. he's like, well, I think we should wait a little bit longer. Or he doesn't want to speak about marriage. Right. Maybe there's a problem mm -hmm. there if he doesn't want to say anything. But, I mean, yeah. it seems like you In should general, have a discussion. Yeah. yeah, you don't just wait around like, gee, I hope he asked me to marry him. And you've never discussed it before, yeah. right? Because right. you're kind of saying, like, I love you. You love me. Where's mm -hmm. this going? I don't think it's a problem to say, where's this no. going? Depend on how long you've been, you know, yeah. not the first date. Where's yeah. this going? <laughs> you might be pushing it back. If you've been dating for a while, right, where are we going? Yeah. Are we going somewhere? What do you think? You need to have a discussion with him. But I think if he's telling you that no, marriage is not something he's thinking about, then mm -hmm. you, with the Lord, need to decide, are you going to continue to date him knowing that? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and in essence, kind of wasting your time? Right. Or are you going to break up with him and, and wait for the one that God has for you? Mm -hmm. Maybe it will be that guy someday. I don't mm -hmm. know. I have a friend, and of course, she wasn't a Christian. She was, staying, she was living with this guy. And she wanted to be married and have kids. And he told her from day one, I do not want to get married and I don't want any children. Mm -hmm. And to this day, she's still with him, still hurting. Still, they still fight about it. Yeah, he's and, probably really telling the truth when yeah, he says something to, to you. You know, day. and I'm mean, usually guys are the, 10, I mean, 15 years not probably. lying about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Like she said, right? he's giving his best. So he's doing his best to, he I'm not going to say yeah. fake you out, but no, try but his no. heart. Yeah. So if he's saying that up front, no. you can pretty much take it to the bank. Yeah, that that's probably the case. Yeah, you're not going to change him on that. You're not going to change his mind. You know? She hasn't mm -hmm. changed his mind. And all it does is hurt her yeah. over and over. And I said, well, that's, you know, and I, I in, the, in the early years of my relationship with her as friends, I would encourage her, obviously, to become a believer. And secondly, just to, you need to listen to what he's saying then, mm -hmm. he, you know. Yeah, believe him on that. And really, I think women don't stop. They, they, they're looking for love, so they want love so much and acceptance so much that they're willing to sell, settle short. Settle. And, you know, and, and this may sound crass, but why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Mm -hmm. So don't, don't give it away. Mm -hmm. You know, wait. I love what you just said there in the in the first part about uh, because I've seen a lot of and it's usually gals I can't think yeah. of a guy but um, where they're afraid to leave that person maybe they've been invested mm -hmm. for five years and then five years turns into six and then mm -hmm. six to seven they're afraid to leave that because they don't think that they're going to have anything else right. when from the outside looking at their relationship and what God promises in His Word they're like taking the promises of God and, and holding on to their fear when God probably, or, or not probably, he mm -hmm. has somebody for you. Mm -hmm. So if this person doesn't, you know, and we, I don't know, we live in a world, I think, where guys are increasingly becoming pansies on this issue. And Steve talks about it all the time where guy, the divorce rate is not going down. It's just stopping because the guys are shacking up and yeah. they're not getting married. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that situation, man, you're thwarting the promises of God in your life by your uh, lack of trust on um, the cool things that he probably has for you. Yeah. Well, and I think sometimes, um, so, sometimes we, as humans, even Christian humans, think, well, that's the next step in life. I go to call, I, I graduate high school, I go to college, get my degree, then I date, then I get married, then I have kids. Well, wait a second. Did you give your life to Jesus? Maybe he wants to turn that on his head. Yeah. Oh, Maybe he, he wants you to get <laughs> married, have kids, then go to college. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So oh, I think yeah. if you're talking to him every things. step of the way. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you whether you should date this person or not. Mm -hmm. And if and if you're dating them and you want to get married and they don't, well, then God, you know, he can release you from and that And you too. know what? If you're a Christian and they say they're a Christian, you should be able to have that kind of conversation exactly. with them. And if they're not a mm -hmm. Christian, get out. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. You're not supposed to be dating them already. Right. You know what I mean? So you're trying to force them into some kind of situation that they don't want to get in. Right. Now then, on the other hand... Uh, we have a friend when a mm -hmm. long time ago when she was single, she was dating someone and it went on for a little bit and Mitch mm -hmm. went over and said, do it or get out yep. to the guy. Yeah. And so he married her. He <laughs> I mean, he was going to anyways, exactly. but he was like, let's move it along here because, uh, we like her and there's probably somebody else for her. Right. So that worked. Get a great, get an older guy to go say it to him. <laughs> that worked for us. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh -huh. Now I remember the conversation. I was standing mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Okay.